Hey guys, welcome back to Mo's Game Table. Today we're going to take a look inside Space Corp 2025 to 2300 AD. It is a game designed by John Butterfield and published by GMT Games. I just received this in the mail yesterday, so wanted to do an unboxing for you guys, uh, for those who are considering the game or, and for those who ordered it and are still waiting on it. This is a, a good look at what you'll get inside. And the first comment I will make is, it's a pretty heavy box. It's uh, definitely a hefty beast. It's a three inch box as you can see, but it is pretty heavy. Uh, a lot of goodness inside, so let's take a look at the back of the box. It says here, Space Corp 2025 to 2300 AD is a fast playing board game in which one to four players explore and develop outer space over three eras. Each player controls an Earth-based enterprise seeking profit by driving the expansion of humanity into the solar system and beyond. Each era plays out on a different board. The first era is Mariners, covers exploration and development out to Mars. In Planeteers, players settle the outer solar system. In Starfarers, players send missions to nearby star systems and establish interstellar colonies. Um, there's some more information here, but uh, we're not going to continue on with that. I'll let you guys read it when you get it. It says here that the game was inspired by Space Corp, the first book in the Galactican series by Einar Fulsang, which is available from Amazon.com. Okay, game contents. It says it comes with a rulebook, solo rulebook, two mounted 17 by 17 inch game boards, three counter sheets, four double-sided reference sheets, one double-sided solo player aid, one business display, four basic headquarters displays, four planeteer starfarers headquarter displays, three card decks, and 24 cubes and seven orange discs. The game is one to four hour playing time. It is for one to four players, and it is for ages 14 and up. Uh, solitaire suitability is obviously very high at nine, and complexity is at four. And you can see an example of the map, counters, and the cards that you'll get in the game. But enough of that, let's take a look inside the box. Okay, and oh, that fresh game goodness. We have our solo rulebook and our multiplayer rulebook, which we'll come back to. We've got our player aids. These are the four player aids. Looks like, yep, uh, four player aids here. And then you have your solitaire player aid right here. And we've got our cards. Let's pull these cards out. We've got couple decks of cards. We've got this here. We've got our player mats, some more cards. And I want to point out something here. We've got a whole bunch of cards here, but there is also this little four card deck here. Um, this in this little pouch. Don't disregard this. This is the four cards that were missing in the initial production that GMT found. And uh, they went ahead and got those printed up and thrown them in the box. So don't think these are promos or something that, you know, is for another game or something odd. Definitely keep hold of these. These are part of these card decks here. We've got some wood bits, uh, our baggies, our ma uh, mounted boards, which I've already taken out of the bag because you don't need to hear, hear the crinkling of the bags as I rip them on camera. And we've got our counter sheets and our <clears throat> business display. So we'll put these all on the side. The business display is uh, the first thing we'll talk about. And this is kind of interesting because like, you know, most euros, you have um, milestones that you want to achieve. And that's what these are. Uh, each phase, each era, I should say, has their own contracts. The Mariners, Planeteers and Starfarers, you start off, they start all over here. And then as you reach each milestone, you'll move the disc over and you'll get that payout here. And then of course, it'll continue on through each era. But that's how the business display works. And we'll take a look at these mounted maps. First one we'll pull out is the, I apologize for my voice. I, uh, I think I got a touch of a cold coming on or something, but this is the Starfarers map. We've got our Mariners map here, which is what you'll start off with. Um, in the first era, you're going to just concern yourself with going out to Mars, which is right up here. And you have Haley's Comet here as well. And then each of these maps is double sided. So this is, I believe, for the um, solitaire part of the game. And this is the Planeteers on this side here, which is when you go out from Mariners, you're going to go out to the 
Planeteers portion, but this is the first map that you'll go on. And here are your counter sheets. And the counters, we've got some nice big rounded counter or rounded corner counters here. These are your um, discovery tokens and also your uh, each of the labs and fortifications, assets, things like that, that each player will get. They're all color coded. And that is a look at your counter sheets. You see nice big counters for those discovery tokens. And that is a look at those, and I just almost popped one out. These are your player mats, the headquarters, they call them. Uh, this is what you'll be using in the game. You've got uh, four for the Mariners, and then four for Planeteers and Starfarers, uh, your advanced headquarters. And then <clears throat> we have our four player aids. We'll put the three on the side. We'll just take a look at the at one of them up close. You've got your turn sequence. It explains out everything in order for your turn sequence. And then for the solo game, there's a competition turn sequence and then edge and then the actions. And here's what each of these actions does on your turn. So you can easily just refer to this during gameplay and understand what it what uh, everything takes place. And these are the types of bases which you'll have and then what it is, an attraction, a biolab, exploiter, so on and so forth. Uh, and then when it's applicable, that's what these icons are here for, whether it's applicable in the Mariners, Planeteers, or the Starfarers era. And then the build requirements and your benefits are listed out there. Then you have the end of an era for multiplayer and end of an era uh, steps for solitaire only. And this is the solitaire player aid. It gives you your competition actions, your offer action, progress action, discovery and contract action. And then again with the bases and solo edge effects table. So let's take a look at the rule books here we've got we're going to take a look at a multiplayer rule book first the rule book goes to page 23 and then it has some information on the back of the book but from the rules themselves that are, are set up in such a way that you could just do it in stages you can just do the rules up to uh, page 13 which is going to cover the mariners era and then after that you can uh, add in the extra rules for the Planeteers era, which is just a couple of pages. And again, the same for the Starfarers. And it gives you the introduction here, game component explanation, the boards, the business display, the headquarters, the cards and how they work, time cards, uh, how they also progress the time scale in the game. And then you have your setup, uh, an illustrated example of how the game is to be set up and where all the components are laid out. And then you have the player turn, uh, how to conduct actions, playing your cards, using bases, claiming contracts, um, opponents claim rewards, transport team, discard and replenish, and then your draw action. And this gives you illustrated examples of how the uh, actions work using your cards in the game as everything is laid out for you nice and uh, logically and explains to you movement which uh, is going to take uh, it's not difficult but it's going to take a little getting used to uh, and then it becomes very much second nature after the first couple times doing it uh, and then you have uh, explore action and then build action again we continue on with the actions available to you in the cards uh, and then you have the bases and mariners what each of those do which we've already seen in the uh, player aid and then production how that works and then the end of the era and you're now down through everything that you'll need for mariners then you get into the setup for the planeteers phase and then the additional rules that you'll build upon from the base rules for mariners for planeteers and then uh, that covers revelations increased contract rewards or awards the orc cloud and then progress cards and then we set up for starfarers again you can just continue to build on through each era with the extra rules you have interstellar movement star systems the orion spur empty regions nearby sites and regions down here and then establishing colonies and exploring star systems increase contract rewards and then building bases and star systems and then how to win and then 
back of the book or back page here we've got game variants this is how to start uh, a game with pl at the planeteers era and again at the starfarers era and that is it that's everything that's in the rule book not a super difficult rule book to grok um, you've got solo rule book which is going to mirror the multiplayer rule book except for the obviously the solitaire specific actions in the game uh, it's going to give you the same setup obviously the setup is going to be smaller because it's for solitaire only but it tells you how to set up your deck and how to um, do everything for you and for the AI com competition that you're going to be going up against. And again, it's laid out. Let's go back to the contents. Again, it's laid out in the same way as the multiplayer rulebook where you can actually just jump in and start playing all the way to page 15. Uh, the rules actually start on page 4 and 5 with the setup. And the rules themselves go from 6 to 15. And then you can just do the same as I said before. You can do that era, then read the extra pages for the Planeteers phase or era, and then also for the Starfarers era. So you can do it in a stepped approach by just playing each era uh, one at a time and getting a feel for how the game works. And again, more illustrated examples of play, which is fantastic to see, all full color, which is great. Um, and then you're set up for your Planeteers and the additional rules for planeteers again we're back to the same we saw before uh, with the multiplayer game and then starfarers has the rules there and additional rules for starfarers and that is everything that you'll need to play the solitaire game but that gives you a look inside space corp 2025 to 2300 everything that comes in the box from GMT Games. If you have ordered it, it's on its way to you. If it has not re if you've not received it yet, but that's a look inside Space Corp 2025 to 2300 from GMT Games. If you have any comments or questions? Post them down below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. See you next time.